Hello there and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be taking a look at the water sensor. Uh, so uh, let's jump in and get started. Uh, right now we're on the sensors tab and you can see that on the uh, port 4, the intelligence sensor uh, port 4, we have the water sensor. So we'll go ahead and we will click there. Okay, and this is actually one of the most simple sensors uh, we actually have here at AKCP. Uh, first of all, you get the uh, water detector port 4 as the title. Uh, we'll just change that to, uh, let's say, damp sensor uh, in office, just in case we have a flood. Uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll click save. Now, the way that the uh, water sensor works, uh, you'll notice on the back of the water detector, uh, there's two metal plates. Uh, now, when the water hits those two metal plates, a uh, circuit is formed and we get a uh, readout of high critical. So let's just go have a look at the advanced mode. Okay, so here we are in the advanced mode. You can see again we can toggle the graph on or off. We have the sensors URL once again where we can type in a website uh, and you can open that in the uh, current window or a new window. Uh, below that we also have the continuous time for the sensor to be in a new status before accepting the new status. Exactly the same as before, you know, enter 10 seconds in here, which means it would have to go into a high critical status for 10 seconds before it actually gives you a readout of that high critical. And then lastly at the bottom we have the calendar options where you can choose the uh, hours in the day, the days in the week at which you would like this sensor to report. So we'll go ahead and we'll click save. Now we're just going to wait for this uh, page to load back up. Uh, once this is load loaded back up, I'm going to give you a demonstration uh, of how this actually works. So let's go back to the summary page. And you can see here we now have water dump sensor in office. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, water sensor and I'm actually going to submerse it partially in water. And we should get a uh, critical status. So let's just wait for that to load back up. Okay, there we go. Damp sensor in office is critical. Uh, I'd also like to point out as well that on the uh, water detector itself, um, when there's no water detected, uh, you'll actually get the uh, LED will remain on and when it is uh, when water is detected, the LED will actually blink on the unit. So there you go, very easy.